Um, my name is Bunai Khan. I'm head of education program at IMS. Um, I have been working here now for uh, four years and I, I have launched the program uh, Deploy on Nozel. Uh, the objective of which is to, uh, to reverse uh, stereotypes and get s students uh, who have the capabilities, it is important to precise to have capabilities to get them interested in, in STEM subjects at school and later on uh, in STEM careers. Here in France, for instance, we uh, try to make teachers understand that their role to fight stereotypes is really important and companies need them because if um, the teacher is not aware of the importance of stereotypes, of the, his students' stereotypes, uh, generally speaking, uh, the program will not work. So um, the uh, teachers, you teachers, should know that uh, you, uh, uh, you play an important role in uh, the training of your students and an important role also um, in helping them to 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 get and um, the right job okay and um, so companies uh, in which those your student will be uh, working tomorrow needs you uh, to work hand in hand uh, to alleviate the consequence of stereotypes um, here in France for instance uh, when we run our program, the Plyonozel, which is about STEM, uh, we organize a meeting, a kind of training session, uh, where we invite an expert on stereotype issues to talk to companies, employees involved, and teachers. The objective of this kind of meeting is to help those two players uh, work together and. Uh, make uh, the program successful. To give an example of uh, the Deploy on Ozel program, um, the approach of this project is just to connect the corporate world um, with education players, such as teachers and school counselors, those I mean, players in the education world who are responsible for the, the career guidance of students. Okay, so as I said to you a while ago, we first we start with organizing a training session a meeting to make um, uh, the different players meet and uh, know each other and talk about stereotypes under the supervision of an expert. After that first meeting, we organize, uh, we give two months to teachers to prepare the action with the students um, and we, we, we deliver to teachers a, a toolbox, toolbox which is going to help him organize and prepare the action in terms of workshops. We, we have mainly two meetings. We have the first one we, which take place in the classroom, right? Uh, where the teachers and his students are going to welcome members of the company, employees. And then during the first meeting, um, the, the teacher help the students to um, to explain to workers, to employees, uh, what they have learned from the company, its activity, its maybe uh, uh, its prod products, its activities, and then the employees present their company uh, and focus on their work experience. And what we what we do is that we um, we have kind of role models. We have a woman uh, from STEM careers and a man from STEM careers and both of them make some focus on their work experience, on their role in the company and how they interact with the other colleagues in the company, be them male or female and then how they, what, what they do to uh, let's say uh, to fight gender inequality 
in the workplace. Your teachers will have two months to um, deepen the knowledge shared by employees. Okay, uh, it, it is called here an intersessional work where you consolidate um, uh, the job uh, which was done during the first meeting, right? On in terms of stereotypes, gender stereotypes, and then you come back on what the employees um, had said. And after that, we organize the second meeting, right? Uh, and this one is taking place inside the company. Uh, the company is going to welcome youngsters, and then. Uh, employees, role models are mobilized and involved in uh, this second meeting. And then we organize workshops, okay, we organize workshops inside um, where, inside the company where students are going to interview, for instance, role models, okay. The objective of this second meeting is first to consolidate the first one and then to give to youngsters an opportunity to to discover the companies, its activities, men and women working inside the company. And um, so they they have the possibility, for instance, uh, to interview uh, employees from their work experience and then they going to uh, present uh, the results of this, uh, this interview before uh, employees and uh, and students and teachers and school counselors and I would like to insist on the role here in France on the role of the school counselors um, because they are responsible for the career guidance of students so if we talking about male or female jobs uh, if we're talking about stereotypes they can they play an important role because they help children they help them to inspire, they inspire them, they present them jobs and works. So we're going to, uh, here, I mean, the, the Department for Education is reflecting on the possibility to empower those school counselors and, and uh, in order to, to help students uh, discover more jobs, more professions, so that they have uh, the choice uh, in terms of uh, the future career guidance. I'll just give you an, an example. I mean, in 2010, we had, we had in the program a girl who wanted to work in buildings, right? Um, but she said before uh, the employees of a company working on buildings and construction, she said, I always wanted to work in buildings, but my family and uh, my classmates said me, okay, you, you can't because you're a girl. So I abandoned this idea. And um, when the teacher and the school counselor had this information, uh, they took it into consideration and then they worked with the girl. Uh, today, these girls, uh, whom I follow, um, is at high school and is ready to, uh, to take uh, a career uh, in this sector. So if the teacher and the school counselor did not help her to make her understand that, okay, um, skills uh, cannot be related to gender, skills just should be related to motivation and the capabilities and capacities, uh, and that is why I come back to the important role of teachers and school counselors to empower girls. In this kind of program, um, alongside with the, um, the important role of teachers, we have the role of, um, of role models, right? And uh, uh, the simple fact to, 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 do a, to make a presentation before girls and then saying that I am a girl, I am a mother, I am a woman, uh, I have three children and I'm, I am an I'm working in engineering. Uh, it can inspire and help uh, girls, uh, female students, uh, who is um, wondering whether uh, being a, a girl 
is um, because generally the, 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 the main stereotype is that being working for in engineering is too demanding in terms of time. So you won't have any. I I just give an example when a girl in in one of the meeting asks um, a woman from Alcatel, okay, uh, but you working in the engineering Alcatel, uh, I suppose you travel a lot. How would you do to 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 raise up your your children? And and my mother told me once that uh, those women you see working in engineering, they um they they can never have children because they don't have enough enough time to uh, to, to to make children. And um, uh, it was very funny because the role model who was uh, testifying, who was presenting, was pre was pregnant. And then she said, look, I am pregnant, and I have left two children in my place, and I am working in engineering with Alcatel. So this is a stereotype uh, that you should get rid of uh, because it is not true. So the importance of uh, the role models is to Im inspire by giving uh, clear and concrete examples of themselves and their work experience. This program, the plan that we have been running since 2010, um, turns out to be a real success, and uh, uh, that is why CSI Europe asks us to uh, collaborate with them so that we can export it to other European countries. And um, I participated with teachers and uh, companies, for instance, in Italy to present the program, to share experience, to share best practices and to help teachers. And our objective is to, uh, to expand the program throughout Europe and um, so you teachers do not hesitate to, uh, to go to Ingenious website and to download uh, tools and documents which will help you to, to organize uh, uh, to, to organize the action in, in, in your schools. Thank <laughs> you.